Former President Donald Trump rebuked Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for helping advance the White House's $1.2 trillion infrastructure package. President Trump, who many still view as the leader of the Republican Party, said Mitch McConnell's support for the deal was just the latest example of how the Kentucky Republican doesn't fight for his party. President Trump said in a statement Under the weak leadership of Mitch McConnell, Senate Republicans continue to lose. Now he's giving Democrats everything they want and getting nothing in return. The former president's remarks came one day after the Senate passed a crucial test vote on President Biden's $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure legislation. In the 67 32 vote, the chamber approved a motion to begin debate on the framework, although it was finalized only hours earlier. Mitch McConnell and 16 other Republicans joined all 50 Senate Democrats in backing the measure. Ensuring it cleared the 60 vote hurdle needed to overcome a filibuster. The majority of Republicans, however, voted against the package. Most did so because Democratic leaders have pledged to move the infrastructure deal in tandem with a $3.5 trillion social welfare bill. Senator Bernard Sanders, the self described socialist from Vermont who is chairman of the Budget Committee, directly linked the fate of the two bills Wednesday. He said, It is my absolute conviction that you're not going to have a bipartisan bill unless you have a reconciliation bill of $3.5 trillion. The working families of this country, the children of this country, the elderly people of this country deserve to have their needs met, and we intend to do just that. President Trump, however, is urging Republicans to oppose both packages, arguing that Democrats win either way. The former president said, No deal is better than a bad deal. Fight for America, not for special interests and radical Democrats. Renos are ruining America, right alongside Communist Democrats.